dear friends and colleagues, my and my late father, uh, Professor Van Chastoychev. First, I'd like to thank the organization UMD for providing the opportunity to present the book on Treaty of Bucharest written by Van Chastoychev, especially uh, Professor Dr. Uh, Todor Chepraganov, PhD, who gave a speech about the book. The subject I applied to present is the Bucharest Treaty of Bucharest and the genocide policy against the Macedonian people. As a policy tightly connected to what happened in the time of the Balkan Wars and later, especially inspired by what yesterday. Even though Professor Achkovska uh, carefully announced uh, her subject, later she gave many facts which shouldn't be uh, forgotten. And that is why I chose this subject. And it was elaborated at a level which should be. And what uh, Ms. Popovska uh, did, we should say as much as we can and know about this problem. This is crime of uh, highest uh, level uh, according to international law and international uh, human uh, rights, uh, which are uh, connected to uh, military law. With this book and during the book and during lunch, I had the opportunity to meet many friends of my late father, who I haven't uh, met before. I'm very happy to have met them all over lunch. So I prepared for this presentation. And besides the historical consequences that as historians I'm very well familiar with, and I incorporated in my paper, and will be later published in the collection of papers, the genocide, the part of the book, uh, broadly elaborated genocide and genocide policy against Macedonian people, what is given in the book as research of a PhD historian because of the German uh, atrocities and the policy of mass destruction of greater groups on the basis of uh, their national and religious religion, he created the word genocide. The term genocide was became, became as, uh, with the two roots, genos, which means root, and sedere, which means to kill. Through this new word genocide, he uh, defines collective uh, murder of a group or whole people. In international law, the word genocide entered with the Convention for Prevention and Punishment of War Crimes on 9th, of 9th December 1948. Genocide is new only in terminology terms. As a phenomena, it has long history. The essence of genocide is destruction of groups, but this act is not done by one operation, but it is a systematic process directed with state laws which encompasses different uh, realms of life of that group. Uh, according to that, it is a crime uh, well uh, planned ahead uh, over one pr people because of racial, ideological reasons or because of the great hatred against uh, uh, people in order to destroy a certain people. Except for the physical destruction of a uh, people, uh, you, uh, one, uh, genocide can be done over all uh, material and he cultural heritage of a, of a people by uh, renaming of their geographic of t toponyms, uh, renaming people, and in order to to destroy their collective memory and impose new 
memory. It cannot be done by uh, towards only one person, but it is a deep process with continuity of a state policy against uh, one people. In the, the consciousness of the people who plan and do genocide, uh, their uh, leverage forces are. They have under inverted commas national interests. They become interests of their country and their national program. Balkan Wars, 1912 and 13, and the First and Second World War, especially the Civil War, 1948-49, showed that genocide policy is materialized as part of the total war. The roots of the Greek, Serb, and Bulgarian poli genocide policy towards other peoples are very deep and incorporated in their national programs in the project of Jordania and in the preliminary San Stefano Treaty. The genocide policy from then on has been constantly present in our neighboring countries. It was used as an incentive and a way to realize national goals. It's difficult to say that a people have something genocidal inside themselves, but in each people can uh, we, we can find um, certain groups which have genocidal thoughts. So it's a, a well-planned, systematic program of uh, nation, nations, and it is not a spontaneous action dependent on uh, the hatred of a certain uh, person or groups. It is. Uh, it is. Uh, real, it is born as a result of uh, frustration of uh, non-realization of uh, previous dreams of certain peoples. A genocide, according to International Criminal Code, is considered as the greatest crime and in our legislation is known since 1951. Genocide is a criminal act according to our criminal code since 1955. is ratified with the Convention for Prevention and Punishment of Crimes genocide crimes adopted by the UN General Assembly 1948 and entered into force 12th of January 1951. This genocide, genocide, this convention defines genocide as part or total destruction of one ethnic racial group and these act deeds are defined as uh, murder of part, members of the group uh, serious damages of uh, the, their identity, imposing uh, imposing substandard uh, standards of living, prevention of uh, giving birth to new children, and uh, displacement of the children from one to another group. From the Convention of 1968, this confirmed that war crimes and crimes against humanity is also are uh, not crimes that can be expired. Carnegie International Balkan Commission, their report say that in Balkan Wars 1912-13, uh, all uh, provisions and articles of international law were violated. In, in the Carnegie report, they, they point out to crimes Another activi uh, activi uh, atrocities that the Bulgarian and Greeks uh, did. I will uh, make it shorter now. In order to address the political elite, of our uh, compatriots uh, abroad, which asked so emotional questions, referring to everything connected to genocide and other rights, uh, which haven't been having in mind war crimes and crimes against humanity as greatest crimes in the history of humanity. The General Assembly of UN at the 20, on 26th of November 1968 brought a convention for, 
for war crimes and crimes against humanity to have no date of expiry. This convention consists of preamble and 11 articles. In the preamble, it is written that war crimes and crimes against humanities are the most serious crimes according to international law and none of the solemn statements on uh, instruments nor and crimes against humanity cannot uh, have date of expiry and it, it is written there is no such thing as expiry of these uh, deeds no matter when they were done war crimes against him uh, war crimes according to the military international military court serious deeds regulated with uh, the Geneva Convention, crimes against humanity, and uh, others are based. Uh, this uh, book is based on the rich international regulations, legislation as source. However, in, the, uh, in conclusion, Word from word to word from Professor Van Chostochev, he he spoke in public with such uh, attitudes and initiatives. Having in mind international law and provisions of uh, above mentioned conventions, as uh, and that uh, war crimes and crimes against the uh, humanities and genocides uh, do not have the expiry date, uh, just as Armenia. Uh, put in front of international community the, the crime that the, the, the Turkish army did against the Armenians in 1915. Bulgaria will ask from Turkey 10 million uh, uh, for their descendants because of, uh, because of the Ottoman rule which asked the people from Bulgaria to displace themselves from Bulgaria. Macedonia fulfills all the preconditions to ask in front of uh, international commissions uh, respond about uh, the crimes done against them and return of their property and their homes. Macedonia should use the uh, Israeli experience because they also did not have their state when their, all the crimes were done against them. And then, uh, But still, now they got all the Damages. All damages, uh, uh, material damages uh, for all the, the atrocities Germany did to the Jews. Greece should give citizenship to all um, people who were. Uh, Republic of Macedonia should uh, become their. Uh, their country and their legal protector. Uh, we, in, the, in that way, the problem of the fugitives of all others will become problems of the international. Macedonia, as an argument, can use the international treaties that Greece has signed concerning displacement of Macedonian population and the May uh, Agreement of 1919, when Bulgaria paid compensation damage for uh, people they displaced and Greece and Turkey also uh, paid uh, Turkey also paid uh, Greece because they forced the people from their country to m move the exile of the of the Macedonians is uh, legally considered as a crime human rights of Macedonians are not uh, enjoyed by Macedonians in the Republic of Greece. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Stoichev, PhD. Are there any questions? No. in the last century were a lot of uh, genocides. The question for us in Balkan is uh, the people or the country uh, which did this genocide recognize this 
I want to tell you the story about our situation, Romanian situation, with uh, Holocaust. In Romanian uh, public opinion, till, uh, until last years, nobody recognized that in Romania was Holocaust. But uh, the Jews, the Institute of Jews, published thousands and thousands of records was a commission of uh, a commission under the under the supervision of our president, and uh, a couple of years ago, the authorities of Romania recognized this Holocaust. What means this? This means we, the historians, has to uh, have to publish more and more records and image. I we saw today something about refugee, for example. And maybe after these uh, activities of uh, us, of historians, maybe the another part, the, the country uh, which uh, did this genocide, will recognize. This is the most important step. The money for, uh, or uh, other funds for uh, compensation, it's less important than this step of recognition. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ja bih blagodaram tokmo i to što je istaknato i od profesorke Tačkovske. I od profesora Tačkovske, i today we should go along with more presentations, information, publishing for what we have in our archives and documents and in collective memory, in memories of persons and in the legislation of the international law. Thank you. Are there any further questions? Thank you, Mr. Stoichev.